should really be applauding these guys as well, actually, because they're the guys that have kept England going through this tough series. Their voices are absolutely incredible. They just managed to keep singing throughout a long, hot day, really underlining the, the endurance value of England, the fact that they've been able to really perform at the top of their game in all this heat. And this is the song I really love. This is the song which really says Strauss is the best captain in the world. Just have a listen. Well, heavy rain arrived just after the end of play today to douse England's euphoria, but it has been another fabulous performance by them today. Firstly in the morning, breaking batting record after record, and then in the afternoon, showing brilliant skill with the old ball to reverse swing out seven Australian batsmen. There was a touch of sadness today too, though, with Paul Collingwood deciding to announce his retirement from Test cricket. On the verge of great triumph, he felt the time was right. And... He also paid tribute to England's travelling band of supporters. That felt like home tonight, um, with the atmosphere that was out there. Um, it was special. All the lads were standing in the slips and we were all looking over our arms. We got goosebumps going up the arms. and um, an, an amazing atmosphere and it honestly feels like the perfect moment. It, it really does. Um, hopefully, well I'm saying hopefully, but tomorrow um, Hopefully we can finish them off pretty quick and, you know, it's going to be the, the best way to bow out. You know, although I haven't scored the runs out here, I haven't been able to take a smile off my face. It's, um, this has been a, um, something that I've, I've been waiting for for a long time. Um, last time we were here four years ago, I actually managed to score runs and we got B5-0. Uh, I'd much prefer it this way around this time, let me tell you. It's took a lot of effort. Um, I probably in many ways overachieved, uh, averaging 40 <laughs> in many ways. I've scrapped it out. Um, I've had me ups and downs, but I wouldn't change a thing about um, the way my career has been. It's, um, some of the players I've played with in that England dressing room have been absolutely exceptional. And I can safely say the, the environment that we've got in that dressing room now is, is a very, very special place. And um, That's why it's, it's hard to leave, but it's definitely the right time. You've got to give the opportunity to the younger guys coming through. Well, that's a modest sounding Paul Collingwood, rather underestimating his overall contribution to England with the bat and the ball, of course, but also particularly in the field where he's really set the benchmark for England's out cricket and he epitomises their brilliance with amazing athleticism and opportunism. Well, it'd be fitting if Paul Collingwood could have a hand in one of England's three remaining wickets that they need to take tomorrow and wrap up this triumph 3-1, unless the weather intervenes. It can't, can it? <laughs>